Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan of Soft Corpora, and welcome you back to Let's Play Billy Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Once you acquire the airship, uh, you can come back to Canterlot and find a new dungeon to explore, as well as a super boss, but I'll do that uh, after the dungeon. So yeah, all we gotta do to find this dungeon is say, go to Ponyville. I mean, we can also say going the other way too, but we tech typically will start on this side. I mean, we kind of have to with the airship there. Huh, I didn't realize the airship was absolutely covered by the map like that. But yeah, in, uh, just a little ways, we'll find some odd something. I think it's actually called an odd stratum in the original game, but... Yeah, we can continue our journey back to Ponyville, but yeah, let's stop and explore. And remember, we're still underground, so there's not really a whole lot we can do since, you know, we can't go out the doors there. So we had to come down here to the basement. Oh, well, we've already dealt with the dogs, so... The only thing we can do is come up here, where we get into a brand new dungeon, of which I actually don't even know the name of, now that I think about it. <laughs> but for this, I have, uh, well, actually a party I wasn't intending to bring, outside of Applejack anyway. Trixie I have because I need either Trixie or Celestia for the boss that I'll eventually be fighting here, and Cadence and Dash are here because they kind of need level ups as well, so... In any case, I am equipped as you see here, experience eggs on AJ and Dash because they are a bit more important to me as far as level ups go uh, for the final dungeon and all that. And Cadence, uh, I want her to, well, learn, well, I guess technically re-raise, I mean, I'm probably never going to need it for her, but I'm certainly never going to use Scourge or Flood, and I don't know about Graviga or Meteor, I might use those. But, mm, you know what? Let's actually do this one instead for now. I can always learn uh, re-raise easily enough with her. Plus, she actually gets a, well, you'll see. There's a lot of goodies in this dungeon. I don't think I have any plenty else equipped with, yeah, any Esper, so that's fine. I could give Trixie something, but I'm not worried about that right now. I have her with the Hero Ring for a particular reason. This is kind of an... Interesting layout, because we can go over and under a uh, with everything as you can see there. And there's also three brand new enemies here, Aqua Boil being one of them. These guys use water, that's why I have water elemental uh, vents there for the most part. And just about everything in this dungeon, or at least the first part of the dungeon anyway, is susceptible to instant death. So I want a AJ for that. Tetsuken! And anything that survives, which is very, very... Well, there is one enemy, you'll see. That can survive, but not guaranteed. It's on Tetsuken, or it's on Tetsuken. I think it's on Tetsuken, honestly, because that's just the way you pronounce Japanese names with that U in it. <laughs> U's typically very silent when it's used in, in that particular way, but, well, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, a couple more enemies there. Yeah, I'm not too worried about those guys. Uh, yeah, any healing I want Trixie to do. Since she has more MP. Here we get a Cider Jug. That's great. Actually, I should have went for this one over here first. Yeah, we're going to be getting level offs fast here. And more new enemies. Goblin and Figaliz. Goblins can... Or, Figaliz, I mean, you can hit with the... Uh, what is it? Oh, I didn't want to that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we can hit with uh, level 5 death. The goblin is kind of an interesting enemy because you can hit him with instant death, but he has like a sort of resistance to it, so it's not guaranteed to work against him, even though it, you, it, it often does, but I've had him ignore that Zontet skin as well as two death spells, and I have Dash equipped with a stealth specifically to deal with that guy. Although, I'm actually having her try to use healing right now, but I kind of failed back there. Anyway, this treasure, I could have used this a long time ago. Title Dagger, I've already had two of those, I don't need any more. See, I... Well, it doesn't really matter which of these three we go down for the most part. But I do want to go over that away. So, yeah, let's actually go down a different one. Layout is very strange. 
Oh, I think I missed him. Yeah, I missed him, but that's fine. That's fine. So, oh yeah, you're actually not actually equipped with anything right there. This guy is weak to ice. He's kind of an interesting enemy, because when he's by himself, he uses level 3 confused, level 4 player, and level 5 death. But I don't have to worry about that until, like, any pony gets to level 40, so I'm not worried about that here. And I think if Scoot emulates... Oh, that's right, they have super high magic. Oh, that's what I'm forgetting right now, duh. <laughs> but yeah, I think if Scoot emulates him, then he get two magic attacks out of it, Blaze and Firaga, if I remember correctly, but I'm not really worried about that. The thing about the enemies in this particular part of the dungeon is that they all have auto-reflect, and they all have super high magic defense, so physical attacks are kind of the way to go. I totally forgot about that in the spur of the moment. See, and then we have this treasure, and I actually want to re-equip slightly for this one. So I have the party re-equipped slightly, mostly dash there, for more of a full-on offense. I still have ribbons equipped because I might need them, but it's not guaranteed. Same reason that I have dash with the star flower, because the thunderbolt could be really useful, but it's not guaranteed to be really useful because of what we're about to do. Otherwise, I have Trixie equipped with Spike and Dash equipped with Masquerade. And, well, I actually, I could use... You know what? I could use Wind Whistler as well. I actually want you to learn stuff, so I'm not going to do that with you. And, yeah, Monster in a Box against one of the stronger monsters in the box, actually. The King Ton Barrier! I think I'm assuming it's King. Let's get Masquerade going there. Uh, let's see. You also... Er, no, uh, not items. Magic. Get Wind Whistler. And go ahead and summon, and you are on healing duty, Cadence. Actually, how about you Runic? Why not? Let's have you dive there, because this guy's going to do mostly... El Actually, even that's not going to matter. Mostly elemental changes. And he's going to have a random element that he's going to be selecting there. Oh, actually, you know what? I kind of want Sun... I actually might have wanted that uh, Sun Shimmer for Cadence, now that I think about it. Whoops. Because he's going to be counterattacking with Traveler, and that is going to hurt a lot. Let's see, uh, Trixie, yeah, go ahead and heal yourself. Dash is dead. Yeah, go ahead and do it this way, and get a rise on Dash. Yes. AJ and Tracy can survive, but not so much uh, Dash and Cadence. That's why I want Cadence purely on defense. He'll change his element like every couple turns there, and yeah, that's why I want the elemental, or the ribbons, because he can also use Scourge with that. So that can be kind of annoying. And let's see, do I want, you know what, let's have Cadence. Heal us up a little bit, just for Trixie's sake there. And then you summon. Yeah, he does change quite a bit. He doesn't have too much HP. Well, that's not gonna be too uh, except for you. Well then, I should've used Cure too. AJ might die, but that's okay even if she does. This guy's not actually worth experience points, so. Hmm, she could proc Flare with that, but not today. Yeah, let's get a Kira going there, and he dive again. Sometimes he'll use Traveler and just a random character when he counterattacks. It's kind of weird, but... Oh, okay, good. I, I think he has, like, 35,000 HP, or maybe 45,000, something like that. It's not too bad, really. And for our efforts, we get the Magic Wand, which is Trixie's ultimate weapon. Although I kind of forgot that it's actually not a terribly good ultimate weapon. Or at least, it doesn't do anything particularly special as far as, like, buffs and what have you. Let's see, where'd it go? Where is your Magic Wand? Only thing it does is it has a 50% chance of proccing Fireworks, which is a actually a pretty darn good spell. Despite the fact that that, that spell did like one point of damage to us way back when we first met Trixie on the train. But, uh... Yeah, this uh, is a multi-target, non-elemental spell that I think also ignores defense, because it does a lot of damage to the enemies around here, but yeah, otherwise, Magic Player plus 7 and the typical Magic Block plus 20, like, 
almost all the ultimate weapons do. So this is more effective if you're in the front row, but I'm gonna keep Trixie in the back anyway because she's actually kind of vulnerable in the front row. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to re-equip the party the way I had them before and be right back there. He killed a lot fewer characters than he usually does, so yeah, I'm back to the way I was. Oh, except for one thing. Uh, Starflower wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but yeah, let's keep that stealth there just in case I need some instant death, because now that I've got Trixie uh, the way she is, I'm not going to have her mimic dashes slots anymore uh, against various enemies. That treasure up there, I had to come down here to get. Alrighty. Nice, nice, nice. We got the Chrono Darts, which I do not care about, so I already have two of those, so I'll just, I don't know. Dash did... I did not. I knew I forgot something. I need to have you with that Frost Plant there, because nothing, fortunately, nothing around here uses fire. So yeah, every pony else. Yeah, Frost Plant, Mystic Salon, Warrior Regalia, so protection against water there. Good, good, good. And Trixie, yeah, well, actually, it doesn't matter at this point. But yeah, go ahead and do that anyway. Because over here we have a save point, so I can just use a tent, but... Well, actually not in this room. I guess I neglected to mention that the Aqua Boil and the... new Or the... What's it? The Figaliz guy? They have, uh... They have a weakness to Holy, if you care, but I don't. At least not so much with this party, anyway. The smelling salt, whatever. I mean, I, there's the Holy Claw, which I can give to AJ, but she has better things to do there. So, yeah, but I guess otherwise you'd bring, like, Luna or something with the, the Holy Claw. Because <laughs> I don't think we really have any other Holy Elemental weapons, do we? Now that I think about it, I don't think there are any others besides, uh, well, the Selene Staff on Luna. So, yeah, Luna again. Yeah, there is almost nothing in the, in the way of Holy Elemental Weapons otherwise. Huh. Huh, how about that? Well, uh, actually, yeah, Trixie, heal your, heal us up, would you? Or at least mostly heal yourself up. You took a major hit from those enemies down there. But I'm not really worried because there's a save point right here, so we'll just sleep in a tent real quick. But that's what you and Starlight should have done in that one episode, Trixie, and you know it. But anyway, now that we're up in this area, there are some new... Well, actually, not really new, but technically new enemies to fight, although I think they're mostly inside of the area we're going to here. Ah, Ancient Castle. Sepia Tones. Memories Time. Or, well, story time, actually. No one's remembering this. Yeah! What is that, like, smoke clouds? I guess they're supposed to be, like, magic spells. What are you supposed to do? He's a unicorn. You guys appear to be earth ponies. You're screwed, guys. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not sure exactly how to determine it, but it seems like the pony who most would know the legends will tell you the story. Like, if Twilight's here, she'll tell it. Last Century's told it. I guess AJ is the most qualified at this party, or else it has something to do with the order. Or some predetermined order of some sort. But yeah, this is not our Princess Cadence. This is her predecessor, the previous princess, uh, Miyamore Cadenza. Steamer, huh? The one who Samba turned to stone <laughs> and basically killed. So, yeah. In the comics, anyway. Is that a spoiler? Yeah, that was kind of a spoiler. Oh, my bad. If you haven't read that one yet. I mean, that is like a, what is like a two or three year old story now, but still... <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Sombra. Yeah, during the Crystal War. And this is Steamer. He's also a G1 pony. He was in uh, one of the two-parter episodes. Return of... Se of uh... Actually, it wasn't Return... No, what was it? Well, the one with the villain named Somnambula. Who was not a pony, but a human, actually. 
That's why I was kind of surprised when they named that one of the pillars after that uh, Somnambula. I don't know if it was coincidence or if they wanted to name her that, but... I like the fact that he turns him to stone, that it's Sombra who's turning him to stone, because it's like, a thousand years later when he released Discord, he had a backup plan already. <laughs> That's kind of what that says, although of course that backup plan failed, because he didn't know that the that Discord was going to be protected by the, uh, the founders, but... He did have a backup plan! Oh yeah, and the Crystal Empire's hero, Steamer. Quite the name. So yeah, we can meet the same enemies that we did around here. I think the new enemies are only in the castle. I could have sworn there were some other enemies that were out here, but... Not today, apparently. Oh, that's actually a really... You know what? In this case, I don't want to bother with Sword Tech 8, because I could miss both of them. So, let's just go full-on offense against these guys. Let's see if I can show off your build. I should have started with you, actually. Keep us healthy, Dash. That's mainly what I have you for here, since you're here. Actually, Dash... AJ might be able to kill these guys on her own. Or not. That might... No. Proc... No. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty strong in itself. I'm kind of surprised how strong that was. Okay, fine. Let's use a level 1 sword tech for once. I don't care about that. Not until we get to level 40 anyway. And then we'll be actually be susceptible to uh, that and level 4 flare. Which is bad. Yeah, level 39 will be susceptible to level 3 confusion, but I don't care about that because of ribbons, but let's see. How close are we to getting a level up? Yeah, and that, yeah, those guys, since they do have that kind of weird resistance to death, I definitely don't want to, uh... Chance it. Oh, yeah, but these guys are around as well. Although, I can handle most of them like this as well, I think, right? They shouldn't be resistant to this. Otherwise, I do have you with the level 4... Oh, I guess you are. Oh, never mind. I guess I must have been thinking of a different enemy there. Another reason to have ribbons. Yeah, I definitely want that level 4 fla uh, little uh... Level 4 flare to kill those two guys off, and... Oh, did I just do fight with Dash? Oh, I meant to do that with, uh... Oh, whoops. I meant to do that with some pony else. <laughs> you. Hmm. Well then, that didn't quite go according to plan. Oh, hello. That should take them out, though. Alright, that, that fixed it. I guess we can meet those guys out here. Caden's gained a level. Good for you. Probably gonna be the only level I get while I'm out here. And let's see, in here we get a comet ring that I don't care about, but it's there. Because I already have like four of those. And in here, this is a rather important treasure, although I do want to re-equip myself a fair bit for this. Well, maybe not a fair, fair bit, but enough. <laughs> well, maybe not majorly different, but I do want those diamond rings for poison protection. Cadence already has the Royal Regalia. And I think this one also can use Scourge, so that's why I want the ribbons there. Because <laughs> that could do some things other than poison. So, let's see. Otherwise, I do have Dash with Masquerade again. And... Yeah, Trixie's still got Spike, Cadence, I'm still learning Sunbeam there. So, let's see, that should be good there, I believe. Because this is not the Katana Soul... But the Guard Soul, who is not susceptible to any status effects at all that I've been able to find, and usually he starts with... Uh, no, I don't want to do that. He almost always starts with Dranga. I'm not even sure why. It's kind of weird. Let's get a little healing in there, since I did it before. Kind of forgot to do that. But, uh, let's see. And summon away, and... Dash, keep us healthy. I'm not terribly worried about this guy otherwise. He mostly does physical attacks and poison, so... Not too bad. And he can be a little tough, but... 
I pretty much got him locked down already. Am I even gonna need Masquerade at this rate? Yeah, I'm getting a news article just now. That's what that little tone was. So. Okay, I needed Masquerade a little bit. Thanks, Dash! Uh, go ahead and do that, even though he's probably gonna die before it ever gets to you now in this ray. I don't know what he does when he powers up. He's always died before he, I ever gave him the chance, so I don't even know what he actually does. He's probably gonna die right now, actually. Oh, no. Oh, I did get the Choco Bop. How about that? Oh, that was actually a little strong. Uh oh. What do you do, man? When you power up like that? I have no idea. Eh, that'll do. Now he should be dead. Oh, well, whatever. He's not too bad. The original Katana Soul was susceptible to instant death, so he was a total chump. But... Note that we can run away from that fight, but if you do, you will permanently miss out on the Crystal Sword, which is Cadence's ultimate weapon, and 30,000 bits. Don't, not that I really care about that. I really like this as an ultimate weapon for her. It just kind of fits. But yeah, it heals. It does not do damage, but rather heals, and like all healing, uh, well, anything, it ignores evasion, so I can hit Fluttershy and Flash Sentry with this if I need to, and it also randomly has a 25% chance of proccing Re-Raise, which is really nice, and it actually has like a maximum battle power of like 255, so it does like, well, as much healing as you can, and it teaches to rise on its own, so, well, there's that, if I really needed it, but I didn't. I'm not going to use it right now, because I still need uh, Cadence's offense for other things. But, uh, let's see, I want to get my equipment back to the way it was before, and we'll continue uh, exploring the castle next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI version 2.0. Arrivederci!